Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And this episode, again, I was scouring through the IMDb page and I wanted to see what things were updated. And I saw different departments that had some updates, uh, but nothing really jumped out at me. And you know, I'll do another pass, make sure I, I, it's nothing I missed there. But I do like to do this from time to time when movie news is slow and everything. I do know now that production is ramping back up and you know, movies are starting to go back into production. There's a lot of crew members that might want to update their IMDb page in hopes that it'll help them get more work. Uh, so that way they can have things officially listed. So I thought it was a good time to go back now that production is starting up on a lot of stuff in the next month or two. It would be a good time to go back and check out the IMDb for Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and see what things have uh, you know updated. And usually I like to go into post-production because that's where they're at now. So they might update who the editor is and stuff like that. So I'm trying to keep an eye on that. Um, but then also in the stunt department, because sometimes in the stunt department, they'll post someone who's doing stunts for a character or an actor that isn't listed so far in the main cast list. And that's the case here today. We did that with Melora Walters in the first Venom movie. We saw that they updated a stunt double for her, but she wasn't listed anywhere on the cast page. She turned out to be the homeless woman that breaks through the glass and gives the symbiote to Eddie. So she actually played a pretty decent role in that movie. And she was very essential to Eddie's journey in that movie. And so I thought, well, let's keep an eye out for that again. So in the last episode we just talked about, we had uh, Reed Scott, we found out he had a stunt driving double. So that led me to believe that maybe there's a car chasing sequence with him in it and you know you guys having those theories about maybe the character dying in this movie um so we talked about that in the last episode so if you haven't watched that go check it out here are theories over there and you know leave your comments over there uh, but for this one we actually have a stunt over that was listed named leva rafidison uh rafidison i think and i'm and i'm sorry if i'm um you know butchering your last name uh, leva uh but uh you know she's actually a great stunt double i seen i was looking at her resume she's kind of new in the business uh, it looks like or at least i didn't see a lot of stuff listed on her resume but some of the stuff i saw looked kind of interesting and i went to check out her instagram page and i saw you know that she's very committed to this and she's very appreciative i saw her posting you know things like thank yous like you know she's in a new netflix show i think called warrior nun which is based off warrior nun aurelia which was like a comic in the 90s by ben dunn and it was released by antarctic press and it looks like they made a netflix version of the show called warrior nun and she did stunts in that so when they released the poster for the netflix series uh, she actually posted the poster and said like hey thank you to this person and this person who hired me who let me come play with you guys on the set and you know do the stunts and and give me a chance to you know um you know as um you know i can paraphrasing but i think she's kind of rising in the industry and I thought that was cool. And so that was all the news I got from this at first. I was like, oh, okay, so Leva is a new stunt person and she seems very capable and awesome at what she does and very passionate. And I hope she has a long, awesome and you know and cool career where she gets to play a lot of awesome roles and uh, and maybe even you know step out of the stunt role and actually get on screen and you know be you know like a, a bodyguard or like an actress, you know, be in the you know part of the story and stuff. But it was cool to see like someone young trying to like rise up in this and in the world of stunts and things like that. So I thought that was cool. But then I noticed, wait, she actually is a stunt double for somebody. And that was someone who hasn't been listed before um, in the main cast list. And this is an actress named um, Alumide Alorenthemi. Alorenthemi, I think is how you say the last name. Alorenthemi. Um, so Alumide, she is a, a very young up and coming actress, it looks like. She has like one or two things listed on her IMDb. Uh, the movie I saw in there was called Everyone Alive Wants Answers. And uh, like I'll have the picture up there. Obviously, you probably saw what she looks like already. I think her name's Nigerian. I was trying to do some research on her name too. Um, both these young ladies have very pretty names, and I'm sorry, I'm butchering probably both of them, and I feel really bad about that. So I apologize. That's not my intent to be disrespectful in any way. I'm I'm actually just really. I think this is really neat to see this young lady being cast in this movie. And it makes me wonder who she might play. I mean, it's probably, it might be a small part. Um, you know, Melora Walters, when we found out she was in it, uh, she's a great actress. I love her stuff. And she's been in Dead Poet Society, a lot of great movies. And I was a big fan of her. So to her, hear she was going to be in Venom 1, I was very excited about that. So um, so this is like, all right, maybe that it could be a role on that size or it could just be someone. I mean, it's a character who needs a stunt double. So, you know, so that could be everything from a person in a restaurant who gets thrown through a window and maybe she just has like one or two speaking lines as, you know, a waitress or something and she gets thrown through a window. It could be something that small. 
Um, or it could be a character that pops up once or twice in the movie and actually has some speaking lines and, and is part of the story in some way and then gets you know thrown out of building or has to get flipped in the air or kicked or something or pushed out into like a truck or something like that. We don't really know. I mean, the range of, of having an actor who needs a stunt double can be anything but typically if you're going to list stunt double for this person you wouldn't really list a stunt double for like an extra or someone who has a very very small part in the scene um typically you would you would just have the stunt person play that extra that's typically how you would do that so to list alumide as a, a person who's going to be in this movie as a character i don't know who she's going to play i you know and i don't know how big the role is going to be how essential it'll be so we'll have to wait and see you know what her role is in this movie especially since she's only had like one or two things as her background so far so I'm curious. I'm curious to see what the casting team and people, you know, saw that they wanted to, you know, have her convey on screen. And I want to see what Leva's stunt is. I want to see where they, you know, kick that up. And then this is one of my favorite things about doing these episodes too, is bringing attention to some of these smaller actors and stunt people. Cause that was one of my favorite things was making the, you know, doing these videos for the first movie. And a lot of you guys getting, you know, familiarized yourself with names like coffee, you know, like the guy, the, the guy, John, I think it's John coffee. Uh, no, that's John coffee's from, uh, the, sorry. Uh, that's uh, that's an actual fictional character from a Stephen King book. Um, green mile, I think is John coffee. Um, but, uh, there was a, the guy who did the, the, the sound, right. I think it was coffee. I think it was his name, but he did the sound for venom one. Um, and then there was, you know, stunt people like Jake, you know, Tamori. Uh, a lot of you guys weren't familiar, and myself weren't familiar with his work before we started researching this uh, Venom 1 movie. And then there was other people like Jared Bankins and Martin Batts Bradford and Ariadna and Ellen uh, Gerstein and all these great actors and actresses who were playing smaller parts in the first movie. And it was great to see people you guys telling me like, oh man, when I saw Ariadna on screen, I, fr I was like, yay, Ariadna. And when I saw Jared on screen, I was like, yay, Jared. And that was kind of cool. It was one of my favorite things about what we did in the first movie where we covered all these little things and that work was recognized when you guys saw the movie and it made some of you see the movie in a different way. And, uh, and it was almost like seeing your friends in the movie. And I thought that was kind of fun. I thought that was a fun thing that I didn't expect to happen. And then it did. And it was like a nice side effect of, of what we do here on the show. So, um, so yeah, Alumide, uh, I'm kind of curious to see what part she plays, you know, whether it's small or how essential it is, if it's essential. But like I said, typically you wouldn't hire someone like Leva to do the stunt if it was just an extra role, they would just have Leva do it. They'd be like, oh, that character doesn't ha isn't recurring, doesn't have a lot of speaking lines, so we'll put Leva back there. And when we need her to get thrown through the glass or, or jump over a car or whatever it is, you know, she'll just do it herself. No big deal. Um, so kind of like in the first movie, they had, uh, I think, Michelle Lee. Uh, she was, uh, she she played um, the, the the nurse that gets taken over by Riot uh, when, the, you know, after the ship crashes. And, uh, and then she kills like her, you know, driver and then walks out and then goes into that village and eats like a, a fish or something and then kills everyone in the village. Uh, so, or in the, the farmer's market type place she was. So she's a stunt person and she didn't have any speaking lines for that role. So they're like, oh, we'll just put her here because we're gonna need her to do some stunts. So typically that's what you would do. So the fact that they listed Leva here as the stunt double for Alumide, I'm kind of curious. I'm like, that means she's playing someone uh, no matter how big or small, but she's a, some, some part of the fabric of the story and i can't wait to see what it is so uh, let me know what you guys think now you've seen a picture of her let me know what your theories are down in the comments below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there and check out leva's other stuff in warrior nun uh, that's on netflix make sure you go check that out and also all you mind she has everyone alive wants answers good title for you know a movie for sure i think that's a cool title i like titles sometimes with long names um so i guess that's available out there too and you can watch that as well and let me know all your thoughts down below like i said we'll continue our conversation down there and we'll continue our theories and um, we'll just go crazy so uh thank you guys for letting me bring these two episodes to you you know that revolve around the movie and updates i will keep an eye on imdb you know imdb i check in on it maybe every once a week or once every two weeks just out of curiosity i haven't checked on it in about three weeks so that's why i was like oh i better you know dive back in and see what's going on over there um but i also have another announcement i'm going to make but it's about comic-con at home which is coming up in a couple weeks so i'll talk about that in the very next video so i'll see you guys over there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share, subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace